Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Good evening to all of you. Thank you so much for your participation during the class. Uh, let us summarize all the important points that we have learned in today's lesson. Today we started uh, with uh, page number uh, 26, uh, lesson number four of your learner book, uh, Planning a Story. So read the story quickly. What does Ben like doing and uh, does he win this, uh, the answers of these questions? We are going to find uh, in this story. Ben loved judo and dreamed of winning a big tournament. Like we all know, judo is a game, right? And tournament when the, there are many teams or different teams, uh, those who are uh, uh, participating in the tournament, right? So uh, tournament is a kind of uh, like you see the World Cup is also a tournament World football World Cup. So when there are many teams, then uh, the few of uh, them will win and they'll go to the quarterfinal, the semifinals and the finals. All right. So one day at school. Ben was chosen to join the school judo team, but he was worried about the big competition. After school, he went to visit his granddad. Uh, they talked and granddad gave Ben a present. It was a silver trophy that granddad had won in a judo competition when he was at school. Wow, thank you, Granddad, Ben exclaimed. The next day, Ben felt confident the trophy would bring him the luck. So in the first paragraph, we came to know that uh, Ben is going to join a judo competition, right? And... Uh, he was worried about it because he was he was nervous. But after the school, when he went to his granddad and uh, he talked to him, he told him that he is going to have a judo uh, competition. So the granddad gave him a present, a gift. And it was a silver trophy, as you can see here in this picture, although it looks like a gold trophy, but the granddad gave him a silver trophy, which he won in the judo competition when he was at the school. So he was very happy. He said, wow, thank you, granddad. And next day, Ben felt confident uh, the trophy would bring him luck. So he would be able to win the competition, right? At last, the day of the competition arrived and Ben's granddad and friends came to cheat. So when the competition was about to start, the granddad and friends came to cheer, mean that to share the happiness. Cheer mean happy. Ben felt really nervous. Nervous uh, is an opposite of confident. When you are not feeling confident, it means that you are nervous, right? So he put the silver trophy on a bench where he could see it. The competition began. He felt strong and confident and did so well that he got into the final. Just as the final round was about to start, he couldn't see the trophy on the bench where he put the granddad silver trophy, right? Ben looked around in a panic, in a panic that when you are worried about something. So the match began, but Ben couldn't concentrate because uh, he couldn't see the trophy on the bench. So he was nervous. Then he heard his granddad shouting, come on, Ben, you can do it. Come on, Ben, you can do it. So in the second paragraph, we have seen that the Ben took part in the competition and the granddad and his friends were there to support him. In the beginning, the Ben was really nervous. So he put the trophy on, uh, on a bench where he could see it. 
the competition began he felt strong and confident and did so well that he got into the final means he won the fights the earlier competition the, the earlier matches before the final and we reached into the final but when the final round started so he couldn't see the trophy on that bench where he put that so ben looked around in a panic the match began the ben couldn't concentrate because he was thinking the trophy would bring him a good luck the grand pass uh silver trophy would bring a good luck for him that's why he was looking there but when he didn't see the tr trophy so he was confused he was nervous and uh, then he listened the granddad was shouting come on ben come on ben that you can do it this is what we have finished to today the first two paragraphs of uh, this lesson planning a story that is it i'll see you in the next class take care and goodbye